Hi YouTube. Um, it's been a very long time since I posted anything on face uh, on YouTube at all, and 99% of that is um, I've been dealing with a pretty heavy bout of depression, um, and I've been busy working, trying to fill my time with work instead, so that I don't really have to deal with it. Um, and then there was a YouTuber that posted about how um, crafting wasn't at all helpful for depression and that those who called it, called what they were doing to help their own depression um, not therapeutic at all, um, kind of just made things worse in my own little head. So um, I haven't been doing much, but I have been working on arts you know, art just to make myself feel better. So, like, for instance, here's an image I did of my cat. Um, I was trying just to focus more on her eye than anything else. Um, but, yeah, so I haven't been not doing any kind of artistic endeavors. It's just I haven't been doing anything on YouTube. Um, and today was probably the first day in a long time that I've had any extra cash that I could work with to do something for me, so I kind of did a little mini haul for myself. Um, it looks like a lot, but thankfully the prices were very good. So first place I went was my local scrapbooking store, and I got this great paper. I think it's from Toad and Frog, but I'm not too sure. There's, I don't know, let's see. It's from October Afternoon. And um, it's called Katie, and PP033. Um, and it's a really cute paper, and on the back, it's very blue. And uh, I just really liked the, uh, the print, because I thought I could tear this and work with the multimedia project I have in mind. Um, with that being said, I've got a couple canvases that I've been working on that I have. They're in various stages of being done. I also found this tiny, tiny little, I mean, there's my thumb, and I got this tiny little cute um, license plate. I think it's adorable. Um, from Maine. Then I got myself the CC Designs rubber stamp, and di stamp, but there's no die, it's just the stamp. Um, and it's called Pine Bow JD1034, and I just love it. Cause most people that watch my YouTube know that I really like pine cones, and anytime I can find something with a pine cone on it, I'm usually grabbing it. Um, I had an idea for a Christmas card, and I saw this die and thought it would work pretty perfect. Um, I believe it's from Memory Box, isn't it? Yes, it's from Memory Box. And it's a steel die about as wide as a card, and um, I think this is going to do exactly what I wanted it to, but we'll have to see. I think it kind of has a snowflake look to it. I'm going to put this back in here so I don't lose it before I put it in other packaging. So I don't, I don't like to keep my stuff in the packaging it comes in. It, every, all the packaging is so different in sizes that... Um, I don't like to keep it in the packaging. I like everything to be pretty uniform. Then I also got this die. It's by um, Impression Obsession. And its number is D-I-E, you know, die. Then 237-S. And it's a season's greetings. And it's kind of all scripty and pretty. And um, that's going to go on the Christmas card I've got in mind, too. So hopefully that idea works out. I also got these little prills. And they are by, hold on, I thought I saw the name, but USA uh, Art Quest, so I don't know if they go under a different name or not, but they're like pearls, and they're teeny tiny, and they come in several different colors. They got some that are like um, multicolored um, pastels, and then they got multicolored um, primary colors, and those were, were really cute, but they also got, you know, greens and browns and yellows and blues and pinks and yellow, all kinds. 
and they're just tiny little pearls. So some of them are really shiny, some of them are very matte, and I thought I had a couple ideas for these. Mixed media and cards, and I thought these would make cute centers for flowers for the, um, um, what's her name's garden? Crud. I can't remember the name, but it's a die set. So I thought I liked that idea. Then I went to Hobby Lobby and got some more stuff, and a lot of it was on clearance. Um, and a lot of it was on sale. So for the clearancey things, I got this Doc Martens, um, Dr. P.H. Martens, rather, um, Bombay, uh, ink, and it was only $2.99. So I got what they had on clearance. They have more that's not on clearance, but these ones were, so I grabbed them. Um, and I accidentally got two of the same one, but that's okay. So I got one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them for three dollars each. And I got red violet, cherry red, Van Dyke brown, brown, teal, and turquoise. And I have a lot of ideas for water coloring and for dripping and all that with these and then mixing them with different other media. So that they're inexpensive makes it easy to play with and practice on. Um, I've got myself some paper mache stars. I thought these would make cute ornaments for Christmas time-ish. And for my wall, so I have a star theme going on in my dining room. I got some craft sticks for stirring and mixing media. And I also got these little cups. These cups were in the um, candy making area, the um, cards and party area of Hobby Lobby. I got myself some glazy medium from Liquitex. I thought maybe I could mix the uh, ink with the, that and see what happens. I got myself the um, liquid, uh, let's see, interior metallic finish uh, brush and leaf um, paint, I guess. I'm going to find out what it is and how to use it. Uh, it says interior gold leaf. I don't know if that's the color name or, or what. I think it's the color name, though. But I have some ideas for that. I got myself some really cheap paint brushes, two different packages, just to be able to make a mess with and be okay with throwing them out. I got myself a chipboard letter or word to go on a mixed media project. Did I say multimedia earlier? I meant mixed media. And I got myself some acorns. They're styrofoam acorns, but it'll work uh, for my project idea. Then I got myself some sprays. I they were in the fall section, and they've got little beads on them. They're kind of cute. Uh, these were each $1.99, but 40% off. Then this was $2.49, 40% off, and then this was $1.49, I think. Yeah, $1.49, 40% off, so that worked, and this was 40% off, too. So that's what I got myself. Um, and then I've got background started for two different mixed media projects. I got that one started and it kind of has a fire look to it but it's going to be fall very fall themed and then I've got this one and my son said it looks like um, sound frequency to him so I don't know what, how I'm going to finish this but that's the start of the background anyway it kind of looks like a hot mess right now but we'll see anyway that's my my haul and Kind of an explanation as to why I haven't been around much. Um, I guess we'll talk to you later. Bye.